Hey guys, so here's an update regarding the O3 air unit and how it'll fit into some of the quads that I have. So this is the air unit right here. And yeah, the camera. So regarding, for example, the Mark V. Um, yeah, I don't wanna, I kinda already tried, but it, just, it won't work. So um, these two holes in the front uh, towards the lens side, So those are the two mounting holes right there. And even if you just used one, it doesn't work. So I'll kind of line it up. Um, it sits too far back. So if you did mount it, even using one of the holes, it would be like, hold on. would sit like here so it sits too far back and you see a lot of this post um, and that's why get RC made the new the mark 5 with the new front cage now I don't know if it uses the same hole so if you can just replace just the front cage and put it in the uh, old mark or, or original mark 5 um, I have no idea, uh, but if you do go on their website, yeah, it does show a completely f different front cage. If there's a bigger hole and they put a 3D printed mount, camera mount in it. Um, yeah, so uh, regarding the, the Apex, so this is yeah one of my newer quads I got. Uh, it's the 4-inch Apex. Uh, let's see. So, I don't know if you could see that, but basically because of the standoffs, it won't fit um, because of where the, the mounts are. They're right there. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, which, uh, yeah, I guess what you could do is if you did mount it, you would mount it. You, but you get no, uh, let's see, if you use just the bottom, yeah, you won't get enough um, camera tilt because you won't be able to tilt it because it'll, the front right here will hit against the front posts. So it won't work on there. I kind of tried it already. <laughs> um, and the only one that it works on, um, per my original video, um, there was a comment, um, and he mentioned that it did work on this frame. And another comment mentioned that it did not work on this frame. So, yeah, both comments very valid. Um, so, yeah, basically, it would mount like so. And there we go. I have this mount this over and then you would use the furthest hole right here and ideally you use the just one of the holes and then that's the the top mount hole and um, the way it will, it should kind of line up would be right there. So, yeah, the, he did mention that you do see a little bit of the post. Um, and the other thing is, if you don't want to see these plastic things, um, these guards, then yeah, just go ahead and remove those. Um, even with this camera, you do slightly see these this guard unless you have more of a camera angle tilt. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, install it on this build. Uh, yeah, and base. Hopefully, it just replaces my GoPro. So, thanks for watching.